Hi and welcome to the DIY retrofit bank of wire shelves from Wardrobe Choice. This is a simple DVD installation guide giving you the step by step process to effectively and quickly install the DIY retrofit wire bank of shelves. So let's start out by just unpacking and looking at what you have in the actual package. So unpacking you should find your shelves, a support pole, various end brackets, various pole clamps, screws and plugs. The second step is to simply putting your tape on the ground on the floor in the corner, measure up the wall, preferably in the corner, around about an inch or so out from the end of the wall and put your shelf spacing marks in pencil up the wall. We usually stick to a distance of 340 millimetres between shelves. This distance though will vary depending on the height of your own shelf in your situation. Step three here is to then begin to level each of those marks across and using a 6mm drill bit come in around about two decking wires from the end of the shelf on either end and using the back of the shelf as a straight edge mark a middle hole. These shelves should require around about three holes per shelf and again using the back edge of your shelf as a straight edge come up the wall on each mark level across and then begin to drill the same holes in the same positions. Keep all the holes in line with the ones underneath to form even vertical row of holes. This is so when all of the back wall clips are in position that they'll look nice and straight and even. So once all the shelf holes are in line, you're ready to insert the back wall clips. Now step four is to insert your back wall clips into the hole and depending on which type of back wall clips you have, you can either insert the screws and the grey wall anchors or with these ones seen in the DVD, they're a pre-loaded back wall clip so they'll be provided with a white nylon pin. White nylon pins can be easily tapped in with a hammer or a small wood block. So then step five is to then stack all of the shelves on top of each other evenly, seating them on the ground, ready to put your vertical support pole in position. This support pole should be cut to length from the floor tight up underneath the underside of your existing shelf. So stand the pole in position, feeding the bottom of the pole through the first decking wire space at the end of the shelf and in behind the metal front edge of the shelf as seen here. Then begin to slide each shelf up the pole into position starting with the top shelf and then insert the fixing pins or screws into position. Then step seven is holding the top shelf in position on the back wall clips. Level the shelf in two directions, sideways and back to front. Then we'll secure the shelf into position onto the pole using the pole clamps provided and the small 12 or 13 mm by 8 gauge hand bent screw through the front of the pole clamp. Once again, check the shelf for level, then fit your end bracket into 
position which will support the end of the shelf positioned so that the front edge of the drop down section of the shelf sits into the end bracket and then through the end bracket itself you can drill two 6mm holes in the holes provided in the end bracket and once again insert your nylon pin and anchors or a grey anchor and screw into the holes into the end bracket and through securing into the jip off wall. Then simply repeat this process for each individual shelf. Next step is to locate a timber stud in the back wall for fixing the all purpose saddle plane, which are our bracing points provided. This will secure the shelf to the wall to stop the sideways movement. The stud can be located by simply tapping on the back wall until it becomes solid when you're listening for it, or simply you can purchase a stud finder from a hardware store. making sure that the pole is nice and straight and vertical and once again just checking where your stud position is you'll then screw each saddle clamp into position into the stud work simply by using the 25mm 8 gauge hand head screws you'll notice that the all purpose saddle clamp has a position for a screw in each end of it Simply work your way up each shelf until you come to finish at the top shelf. Once secured in position, just give the shelving and the pole a bit of a wriggle just to make sure it's nice and sturdy and there's no sideways movement. At this point your shelving should be nice and stable and secure. So the final step here is to simply sweep up or vacuum any jib rock dust that may be lying around the bottom of the shelving. So there you have it folks. You can really transform your old or existing shelving just like this in the DVD. It really is quick and there's no fuss. So congratulations, you're all done. And we'd just like to thank you from all of us at Wardrobe Choice for purchasing another one of our great DIY do-it-yourself retrofit shelving products.